What's up guys, Brian here. Thank you for joining me in the Gecko Lab. This is your weekly hatchling report. Before we get to the geckos this week, I just wanted to remind you or inform you if you haven't heard, my first ever Altitude Exotics adventure tour is officially a go. You guys can book your spot now, altitudeexotics.com. Click on the adventure tour tab, check out all the details and book your spot. Only five slots are possible and it's going to be amazing. We're gonna spend five full days hiking through the depths of the rainforest in Belize, struggling through the hot, humid, muddy rainforest to find the most incredible sites, the best wildlife, and of course one day laying on the nicest beaches Belize has to offer. It's gonna be great, guys. If you haven't seen all about it, check the link in the description box below, check out the website and join me. I'm super excited. I will be there, I will be your tour guide, and I can't wait to see you guys. Come hang out with me in Belize. We're gonna hike, we're gonna photograph, we're gonna see wildlife, and of course, we're gonna talk geckos while we're there. So come hang out with me, it's gonna be a good time. But let's go ahead and look at this week's geckos. This is a grow out edition of the Weekly Hatchling Report. Like I said, this is a grow out edition of the Weekly Hatchling Report, so I have picked out five of my best grow outs to show you guys. I've got some cool stuff to talk about today. We're gonna start it off with a bang. First, right out of the blocks, an azanthic. Check this guy out. Great gray azanthic color with that almost purplish hue. You can see, especially at the joints where his arms and legs meet, that kind of purplish hue. And I love those white dashing pins down the back. Just a great classic example of an exanthic. I love these guys so much. Next up, look at this charcoal. Just beautiful. This one is so cool because you can really see the effect of that phantom pinstripe gene. As I've said before, that phantom gene takes a normal pinstripe and wipes all of the cream color away. So here you can see that black charcoal base color, that real black color the charcoals are known for, but laid over the top of that is the normal cream pattern this gecko would have if it wasn't a phantom. I think the phantom and the charcoal genes are somewhat interrelated. Like they just, they, whether they work similarly or they work in concert with each other or they just look best together, I'm not sure, but obviously the best charcoals are also phantoms. This guy's a great example, as you can see, those really nice brown areas where the cream color would be if it wasn't muted out by that. Phantom Gene, just a great charcoal. When this one grows up, I really expect it's gonna be black, jet black base color with almost orangey brown looking phantom markings on it. I'm excited to see this, how this one looks when it reaches that 30 gram mark. Next up, a Lily White. Just look at the eye on this thing, first of all. Check out the eye on this, just absolutely gorgeous. I will never get over how incredibly just interesting gecko's eyes look how intricate the markings are especially on the lily whites especially seem to have the coolest eyes but aside from its eye an incredible gecko that dark base color the orange markings underneath and then all that lily white cream like somebody spilled paint on him over the top i love a good high pattern high coverage lily white as much as the next guy but this this is just cool. This makes the contrast pop so much more. It really highlights the lily white cream on these geckos and that you just don't get that effect in a high pattern animal. So I think there's definitely a place for both in the hobby, not just one or the other. Absolutely incredible. The head on this guy is so cool looking. Oh, all right, next up. So I gotta tell you a story about this one. I posted this one on Instagram a while back, so you guys might have seen it already, but I wanted to share it here so I could talk a little bit about it. A while back, the girl who works for me, she helps me feed my geckos, clean cages, that kind of thing. She was feeding the baby room one day and she called me in. I could hear her saying, hey, Brian, come look at this. And I was like, oh no, is, is something wrong? Did, is there a sick gecko or a hurt gecko or a hatchling that passed away? You know, the worst possibilities go through my mind. I walk in there and I can immediately see she's, She's puzzled, but she's happy. And she's like, look at this gecko. This is so interesting. And she shows me this gecko with this giant black mark. Check it out. This giant black mark on its chin. And when I looked at it closer, it's actually a Dalmatian spot, a giant single Dalmatian spot 
that covers the entire bottom portion of this gecko's jaw. Super cool looking. At first, she told me it freaked her out because she thought it might be some sort of infection, a bacterial growth or something like mouth rot, something like that. It freaked her out when she noticed it and we hadn't noticed it before because most of the time we're feeding and the geckos are sitting there and you don't look at the bottom of their chin and she happened to notice it this time called me over to it and i immediately knew i had to get some really cool pictures so this is one of those shots i was able to snap just such a cool shot with the eye licking the tongue licking the eye and the black big black weird chin mark and you can see the gecko's teeth and it's just so cool i love this one um a lot of people are asking me if I was going to keep it and breed it and see if I could reproduce it. I don't know. As always, I don't really know until they grow up, but we're definitely going to keep this one and grow it out and see what it looks like as an adult and decide what to do with it. Um, if you have a good name idea for this, leave me a comment down below what you think I should name this one. My favorite from Instagram was Blackbeard. Somebody said I should name it Blackbeard. Somebody also said I should name it Mustache, which made me think that person doesn't know where a mustache is located on the body because it's definitely not down here. Pretty sure... My general knowledge tells me mustache is on the top lip, but I'm not here to judge. Mustache was an option. I liked Blackbeard. What do you think I should name this one? Leave me a comment down below. And then last up, uh, this gecko kills me. This is my favorite Dalmatian ever. Hands down, no joke, no contest. My favorite Dalmatian of any kind, certainly my favorite Ink Spot Super Dal. Look at this gecko. Just absolutely picture perfect it does not get any better than this that light super almost white cream base color spots galore just big black spots white base color. i mean there is nothing else you can ask for here i'm super upset this one dropped its tail this guy actually dropped his tail while he was hatching so i never even got to get a good look at what the tail on this one could have been super dolls are always the toughest to lose the tails on because those tails can be covered in spots too and it just adds to the effect of the overall gecko but with this one it was never an option and just it is simply one of my favorite Dalmatians I've ever hatched. I, there's not really a whole lot I can say about it. This is an incredible gecko. I love it. I, I go out of my way to look at this one every time I feed. It's fantastic. So that one, because I know I'm going to get hit up a lot. No, it is not for sale. It will not be for sale anytime soon. That one is staying here. You can bet on it. I hope it's a male, but one like this, I don't really care, man. It's staying and it's breeding. So don't forget to subscribe so you can check this hopefully guy out when he gets older and see what I do with him breeding wise. Subscribe for more gecko content coming at you all the time. Thank you guys so much. As always, I am Brian, Altitude Exotics, altitudeexotics.com. That's slash AE geckos on Facebook and Instagram. Give us a follow. I'm always posting new things. I appreciate it. Don't forget new geckos for sale every Friday night on my website, altitudeexotics.com as well as book your spot for the adventure tour because you will not regret it. I promise it will be a life-changing experience. Thank you guys. I'll see you soon.